you? What are you doing here? Keep away from my husband. Interview commenced Monday the 22nd of September at 1646 in the room, Sergeant Thorne, Mrs Cheryl Robinson and her solicitor, Mr James Butler. Before we start, I want you to know that this is a disgrace. I will be complaining to your Chief Constable. Thank you, Mrs Robinson. Now, can you tell me why you were brought to the police station at 10.30am this morning? I don't know. Why don't you ask the two miserable idiots who arrested me? My information is you were arrested for causing a disturbance, for hitting a friend of your husband's and Miss Collins on the nose. <laughs> she deserved it, sleazy cow. And finally, for assaulting a police officer. Well, they shouldn't have got in the way of my fist. So you do admit you assaulted Constable Simpson? It was an accident. I didn't mean to give him a black eye. Still counts as assault. Is he right? I'm afraid so. So... Why were you at Miss Collins's house earlier this morning? I finally found out that Miss Collins has been having an affair with my Gary. That's Gary Robinson, your husband? Yeah, who else would it be? He's a professional footballer. He plays for United. So what's the relationship between Gary and Miss Collins? What do you think? They're lovers. Uh, no, I, I think what the sergeant wants to know is um, how did they meet? Was it in um, uh, professional circles? Sorry. Susie Collins is a glamour model. They attended the same charity luncheon last month. That's when their romantic affair was meant to have started. So, let me get this straight. You went to Miss Collins's residence earlier this morning to discuss her involvement with Gary. On her opening the door, you hit her? What can I say? I'm an impulsive type of person. As a consequence, she sustained a broken nose. I must inform you, Miss Collins does want to press charges. She says she won't be able to work for at least a month and she wants to claim damages. <laughs> she has already been to the police station to make a statement. Gary will get me out of this. He'll look after me. That's Gary Robinson. Yeah, how many more times? Mr Robinson has been to the police station, but he's since left with Miss Collins. <laughs> We're going to release you in a few hours. Cheryl, can I offer you some advice? You need to get some help. You mean a psychiatrist? If you carry on like this, you're going to snap. Solicitor, no good. Hopeless. What am I going to do? Listen to me. Let me help you. I've helped lots of people in your position. You don't have to be a loser. If you want retribution, let me advise you. How much will this advice cost me? Oh, not much. Just your soul. <laughs> I thought it cost me an arm and a leg. Do we have an agreement? I don't know. You're a police officer. How do I know I can trust you? Who can you trust? Certainly not your husband. Hmm. If you want help getting what you deserve, then give me a call. My number's on the card. Thanks, Will. <laughs> Great mobile number, all the sixes.
up, Cheryl. Let's not cause a scene. Why are you moving Susie into our home? This isn't your home anymore. You're moving out. Er, uh, my name's on the deeds to the house. I'm buying you out. If you check with your bank, you'll find the exact amount of your share of this property has been transferred to your account. My solicitor will be in touch regarding the paperwork. I'd hold on to that money if I was you, love, as I'll be suing you for assault. Do you want a black eye to go with that broken nose? If you touch me, I'll make sure the police lock you up. Again. Oh. 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 God, Cheryl, just go, will you? I'll send all your clothes to your sister's house. What do you do that for? You know we don't go on with that slapper. Do I look like I give a damn? I'm getting this house valued and then it's going on the market. Yeah, go on. Have a word with your solicitor and I'll see you in court. Oh, God, me eye. Oh. Ah. <sighs> it's you. The loser. Camilla, my pathetic sister. Wait a minute, are you wearing my dress? <gasps> it's my dress now. I don't think so. Hey! You keep your filthy hands off my dresses! We may be sisters, but what's mine is most certainly not yours. Gary spent a fortune on some of these dresses. He said I could have them. Get real, they'd look ghastly on you. I don't care, just take them back. You know, to call you stupid would be an insult to stupid people. Mine? This is just typical. You get arrested for assault and before I know it, you're back spoiling my life as usual. You know, Mother always said you were an embarrassment. You might look like a fool and talk like an idiot, but you know, don't let that worry you. Idiot? Why, you snooty little trollop. I've got a text. Is that your short-sighted boyfriend? <laughs> Actually, he's a male model. One of Susie's friends from the modelling agency. Get out of my way. You can't bully me anymore. I go to Senshu Tudo classes. Me stay, Tanya. Hey, you're one of the girls. We look out for each other. It's not fair. I enjoy my glamorous lifestyle. The bastard's even cancelled all my credit cards. He can't get away with it. <sighs> Men hate them. How's your love life, Tanya? Not dating. I want to live a little. That's what you need to do. Hey, I'm going to the factory club tonight. Why don't you come with me? We can have a proper girls night out. I'm not in the mood. Cheryl Robinson, not in the mood? Blimey, things are bad. I better put the kettle on, we're gonna need another brew. It's poison. Saw a bloody mouse in the kitchen. Thought I'd kill the little bugger. <laughs>
Morning. Is it? Oh yeah. So it is. I've made you a coffee. Late night. <laughs> Little bit. Oh. oh, again tonight. Are you coming with? I don't know. I can't stay here and sulk forever. No, it's just too soon. You go and have a good time. I will. <laughs> Are you sure you're not going to change your mind? Nah, I'm just going to sit here and watch TV. Suit yourself. You'll be missing out on all the fun. I feel like being naughty. If you hear some noise in the night, that'd be some poor sod handcuffed to my bed. <laughs> when are you going to grow up? Plenty of time for that. National television that he has had sex with over 700 different cars as well as a handful of planes and helicopters. Right. Edward started. We're off. Time to sell my soul to the devil. Sorry I'm late. Traffic's been hell. <laughs> I want to take you up on your offer. I don't see why Gary should get away with treating me so badly. I want revenge. Let's unleash hell. <laughs> Hello, Mrs Robinson. Sally Kipling. I believe you rang the office saying you've got a property on Brimstone Avenue that you wish to place on the market. Yeah, I was wondering if it'd be possible to arrange to have someone to come over and do a valuation. Yes, certainly. How quickly are you looking to move? As soon as possible. Even sooner. It just so happens we have several people looking for property in your area. It might be a good idea to pop it on the market straight away. Um, yes, 11 o'clock tomorrow. Is that a good time for me to call in and value your property? My husband should be at the training ground. I mean, yes, I'll be in. Perfect. That's it then. I'm finally getting my revenge. The house will be on the market. What about your jewellery? Your expensive necklaces and diamond rings? Do you think your husband's just going to hand them back to you? No, you have to go back in the house and retrieve them. I'm not beaten yet. with Gary long enough to know how his mind works. I came for my jewellery. The jewellery belongs to me. Gary loves giving me gifts. <gasps> you money-grabbing bitch. <laughs> you can't tell me you married Gary for love. I don't have to take this from you. He'll dump you eventually. Maybe. 
Although, I do intend to do well. Very soon, the house and everything in it will be mine. That includes your jewellery. <laughs> should I know? Some help you turned out to be. Robinson. I hope you don't mind me walking in but the door was open and you said you wanted a quick sale so I thought I was in the area I'd call in and sort out the estimate. <laughs> you are very efficient. Well we aim to please. Do you mind if I have a quick look around? I'll start with the downstairs. I'm not sure if this is a good time perhaps we should stick with our earlier arrangement. Well, I'm here now it'll only take a few minutes. Move on. I believe these properties have good sized bedrooms with en suites and a communal bathroom. Why don't we continue this another day? This shouldn't take much longer, Mrs. Robinson. Okay. I really must insist that you come back tomorrow. Let's take a look at the storage space. No! Now, now, Mrs. Robinson, I do need to inspect all the available spaces in the ensuite to complete the estimation. A successful sale sometimes depends on this. She's dead. This woman is dead. Perhaps you'd like a cup of tea? You've murdered her. No, no, it was an accident. We had this fight. She fell over. I'm calling the police. No, please don't. I'll give you money. I'll give you a lot of money. Please stop! Oh, no, no, no. This can't be happening. You can't be dead. You just can't. No. I think that concludes our business. What do you mean? You're going to get me out of this mess? It's what I hired you for. It's your job. No, my job was to give you what you deserve and collect my payment. Payment? What do you mean? My soul? Who do you think you are? Cheryl, what are you doing back? 
I wasn't expecting you for a few hours. Did you not get my message? Uh, look, could you get me some more tea bags from the corner shop? What? Are you not listening to me? I've done something really bad. Okay, maybe we can talk about this later. What's going on? Why are you in your dressing gown? Oh, I've had another one of my headaches. I'm just going to go for a lie down. What's going on? Where's the tea? Oh. What's he doing here? Cheryl, I can explain. Explain? I think it's obvious what's going on. You're sleeping with my husband. Um, well, we're separated, so technically I'm your ex-husband. Stay out of this, Gary. I knew you'd react like this. Too right, you bitch. Well, we're separated. I'm your ex. Stay out of this, Gary. Hey, yeah, you're separated. He is fair game. I can't believe you've been seeing him behind my back. <sighs> it's no good talking to her when she's in this mood. Let's go back upstairs. This is the craziest film I've ever been in. Commences at 12.44 p.m. For the recording in the room are Cheryl Robinson, Detective Sergeant Fox and Detective Constable Hound. Fox and Hound. Ha! <laughs> do, 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 do. Off to the hunt we go. <laughs> Mrs Robinson has asked for James Butler from Demon Solicitors. Unfortunately, he's not on our list of duty solicitors. I don't need him. He was useless anyway. Oh, dearie, dearie me. You have got yourself in a pickle. A spate of two murders and two poisonings in one afternoon. You have been busy. It's not my fault. He made me do it. He tricked me. Who did? Your colleague, Will Thorne. Who else? He says he's a police sergeant, but really, it's the devil. The devil made you do it. Two murders and two poisonings. Or well, maybe not the poisonings. <laughs> Mrs Robinson, there is no sergeant with horns and a long pointy tail working here at the station. You're all in this together, aren't you? In what together? I know your game. You're after my soul. Your soul. I should have never signed his contract. He should be sat here, not me. Where is he? Where's Will Thorne? Mrs Robinson? There is no Will Thorne. I think Mrs Robinson could do with seeing a doctor, don't you, DC Hound? She looks as though she's been to hell and back. Well, I have. <laughs> And that's it. You, you, you go see her. See if I care. You're a loser. You are one enormous loser. on your mobile device just now. Are you OK? He's been cheating on me. Brain-dead pile of puke. Oh, dear. Such a pity. What a shame. 
I suspect at this moment you wouldn't mind getting your revenge. Absolutely. Well, it just so happens I may be able to help. My card? Well, I'm gripped and I'm, I see you walk 